Sarah from the Haggerty High School Robotics Team in Oviedo, Florida. We have been really eager to work with the new Android platform, so we decided to make our own controller that interfaces with the legacy motor controller using an Arduino Uno. So right here we have our setup. Uh, we have the Arduino Uno connected to the um, High Technic motor controller through just an NXT cable. And uh, we have our robot controller station connected to the Arduino through an OTG cable. And uh, we have our driver control station, and that's just connected to the joystick through the OTG cable as well. So now I'm going to show you how to make the cable that connects from the Arduino to the motor controller. So right here we have our Arduino, which replaces the NXT. And uh, you're going to want to start off by cutting the NXT cable, and this should expose six colored wires. And the first uh, cable that you should connect is the white one, and that's going to be connected to the 5 volts. Normally, this would be the analog input for the NXT, but in this case, we're using that to indicate what, which is the first motor within the daisy chain, motor controller within the daisy chain. And then um, we're gonna have our black and red wires connect to the ground pins on the Arduino. And then the green wire, we're not gonna use that. And then these last two cables are used for the I2C bus, which is used to send commands from the Arduino to the motor controller. And the yellow one should be connected to the A5 pin, and that's used for the clock signal on the I2C. And the blue cable is connected to the A4 pin, which is used for the data signal on the I2C. So we're going to demonstrate driving the robot with our driver station and the robot controller, which is connected to the Arduino in the little black pouch thing. So hopefully this video will help you in experimenting with an Arduino and the new FTC Android platform until the actual controller is released. And the software that we use for our Arduino and the changes that we made to the FTC SDK package will be linked in the description. Thank you.